After one year when railway transport was halted in Kampala city due to the renovation of the railway line between Kampala and Namanve, railway transport finally resumed on 2nd of May 2024. I decided to go there on 3rd of May, the second day when it was operating, to experience how sweet the experience is after the renovation of the railway. Here is me, I was seated at the train station, in fact it is the headquarters behind me there where railway transport in Uganda is programmed from. I sat at the station waiting for the railway train that would come and take people at 6.45 p.m. I waited for quite long because it didn't reach at 6.45 or even... 6.30 like I'd expected if the transport means that they're going at 6.45 therefore the mean of transport has to be there earlier than that time but the train took a little bit longer than that the train arrived at around 6.48 that was from Namave coming back to Kampala city I was at Kampala city train station waiting for the train eagerly wanting to experience railway transport after the renovation of this railway line I guess the experience will be sweeter than the experience that I had before the railway line was renovated at 6.48 p.m. I saw lights approaching the train station and these lights happened to be the train arriving from Namave. It had taken passengers at 5.30 p.m. Those who had been working in Kampala city, going to Chireka, going to different parts, especially where the train station is found because railway transport is quite strict. Trains only stop at the train station. Here is the train arriving, finding us at the train station waiting. I was so glad to look at this train, so beautiful. I wanted really to enter inside and experience it the way I had never before. <laughs> Remember those days we could use trains for transport, but the railway was not in good state. This is now an improved and well renovated meter gauge railway. So here is the train. Let wow. me enter inside and see. I jumped on the doorway and entered this train to see what's inside. Unfortunately, it was late. By that time, it was 6.59 coming to 7. Just a few seconds to 7. It was dark, but later on, I was glad that they put the lights. And I said, wow, this is what I expected. Inside this train is so smooth and you really feel the good atmosphere that is inside this train. I didn't have any problem with the atmosphere I experienced, although I really enjoyed seeing the locomotive came in order to fix itself onto this and we move on. I saw how this man was trying to show how it would connect and later on they checked our receipts and when they checked our receipts we set on for the journey. I saw like everyone inside felt so comfortable because trust me I didn't even know the train had started moving only to realize that we were already on the move. Because of the comfort I experienced I could not realize anything like bumping along the way but really I enjoyed this train ride and this was me inside the train filming myself because I wanted this day to be memorable in my life. One day. I will remember certain year in future that one time I experienced railway transport in Kampala city going to Namave, especially when the railway line was renovated and it looked smoother than it had been before. So let's share in my journey traveling through the railway line and moving up to Namave. It was a great experience. Let's enjoy the train ride. As I was riding through the train, I kept on seeing outside, looking at the view of the town of Kampala city as the train kept on moving. It was such a nice experience and I really felt like life is good. So yeah.
The train had like four stopovers at the train stations where passengers would get out, but I went up to the final destination. This is Namanve train station late at night. I got out and took a video of this train, a very long train in fact, beautiful and standing on the railway line. The locomotive got off and tried to come and make a U-turn so that it could go and connect and ride back to the train station in Kampala.